uh-uh, 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 uh-u
the person that belongs to you. For some of you all, it's an Aries. Some of you all, it is a Taurus. Some of you all, it is a Virgo. I see um, Pisces in the building. I see Scorpio. I see Taurus, okay? I do see Leo, Aries, and Sag. I see Gemini. But I do see us having to move away from mental conflict from mental constraints from things that is literally keeping us confined literally in a place of fear in Aries there's nothing to fear but fear itself I do see some of you all could possibly have a father figure okay or a, a child's father this person is a soulmate to y'all you, I definitely see someone dealing with someone who they have a family with okay I do feel that some of you all could have possibly moved away from this person during well, due to some deception, or this will be happening to you guys between the 1st and 15th of October. But some of you all, you're just being real with yourself. You're, you're moving away from traditional mindsets because I feel like some of you all are literally just broken in a marriage, okay? Especially if you're dealing with the sign of Taurus, or let's say you're married to a Gemini. Some of y'all are married to a Libra. But I feel like there's a facade being put up. Some of you all want to hold on to this person with the, because there's a fear of rejection. There's a fear of not being good enough. There's a fear of losing, feeling like you lost something, okay? I feel like during this time of you dealing with a tourist, this person, you can find out something that is just really heartbreaking and heart quenching, okay? But it's going to allow you to move forward and really, really transform and look at the situation from a different point of view perspective in order to remove that blockage, that emotional blockage so that you can manifest whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest. For some of you all, it's love. For some of you all, it's finances. For some of you all, it's stability. And for some of you all, it's just spiritual growth, evolution, okay? So during this first 15th, the first to the 15th of October, I'm strongly feeling a battle of self against the self. Some of y'all are needing to move forward from the idea, the fear of you going to cheat on me or you using me or, 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 you, or you trying to do me something, okay? You need to move on from that. Some of y'all could have moved away from a Scorpio and you could have possibly met a Pisces. Some of y'all could have moved away from a Virgo or Capricorn, okay? For some of you all, it's Leo. For some of you all, Gemini. Some of y'all moved away from someone, okay? I feel like if you're dealing with air energy, if this is the energy of the Gemini, I feel like that energy is very, very, very passionate, okay? I feel like you have the expectation of having a family with this person. However, this person just can't get right. All right. This person could have left you in the past and moved forward to where they thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side. All right. And you could have actually been married to this person for some of you all or this person. You had the expectation of marriage. But now you're just coming to the conclusion that, you know what, me holding on to this idea, me holding on to this expectation is allowing me. It's just allowing heartbreak and toxicity into my life by the own doings of myself. Because I'm choosing to make a free will choice to hold on to this shit instead of ending this cycle. There will be a lot of transforming going on for the 1st to the 15th of October, baby. A lot of y'all are ending one cycle to move into another one, but you're needing to let that hurt go first. For those of you who are wanting to have a baby, maybe you, uh, somebody possibly left you due to uh, fertility issues. Spirit say that wasn't the right person. You, that was not the right person. But some of y'all, y'all needing to let that idea, let that fear, let that doubt, let that lack, let that re rejection, let that fear of not being accepted go. Love the self. Love the self. Receive. Receive the energy that is pushing you forward to love yourself during this time, baby. And face. Face. Take the mask off. And as I preach to you, baby. As I got, as I counsel you, baby, I counsel my damn self. Don't think that Mocha is exempt from this energy because I, Aries, also am on a journey. You guys are my family. One is not better than the other one. Do you understand? Let those emotions free. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be receptive to love. Everybody ain't out to get you, baby. And you got to leave that idea behind because it's time to manifest. Mars is back on the move. Venus is transiting. Love. True love. Dirty little secrets got to be exposed. Foundations have to be ripped the fuck apart. So that you can understand where you've been. In order to truly embrace where you're trying to go. Some of you definitely need to heal mother issues. Period. Point blank. Because I feel like... Some of y'all have been so trying to 
Make your mother accept you, accept your way of life, accept the way that you do things, accept your individuality. And it's just really been an issue for you. And what it's, what, why it's continuously been an issue and being surfaced at this time, Aries, because you're really needing to go heal that inner child. Go get, I'm hearing nine for some of y'all. I'm hearing 12 for some of y'all. I keep hearing the number 16. Go get that inner child. Go get that inner child. Get that inner child and grab their hand and say, baby, I see you. I trust you. I accept you. And it's okay. I will nurture you. Because I am you. I live you. And you live through me. And if we can't work in tune internally to come together to heal that, if we can, if only we can, we have love. Counterparts, you have the Emperor, the Empress, the Ten of Cups, and the Lovers in one reading, babe. Some of you all, here come your twin flame. They're coming back. Some of you all, you're needing to heal, heal from this internal conflict, indecision, making the decision to not make a decision. You need to heal. During this time, a lot of these deep-rooted, surfaced emotions will be coming forth, but they're only coming forth to be purged so that you can walk into newness. Heal the relationship with your mother. Heal these family situations, Aries, and let the hurt go and choose to move forward. Either you're going to have a clear, a clear, a clear conversation. Are we going to move forward together or, un you, or, or, or are you unhappy? For some of you, you're going to be telling somebody else, I'm unhappy. I'm married due to children. Yeah, I'm going there because spirit is talking. I'm married due to children. But after spending years of my life being an at-home mom or at-home father or feeling like I've given, given, given to you and my children, I have nothing left for myself. It's made me resentful. It's okay to admit that. Because some people don't want to admit that shit. And on the coup, cool, it needs to be admitted. Someone by the name of Kendra. You watch my video, so Spirit got me talking to you. Abuse, baby, in any form, is not a form of love. If someone physically put their hands on you, if someone emotionally make you feel this small, when you know in the image of God as you were created, your worth is so massive that it can't be measured. You don't give nobody that much power over yourself. Spirits say they're trying to connect. It's okay because you're gifted. So they can really connect and you're getting drunk all the damn time. Not letting them connect with you. Sorry I had to shake your tree, Miss Girl, but they really wanted to talk. As for everyone else, let that hurt go. It's a period of beauty. If only we can make the executive decision for ourselves to literally get through and persevere through this battle of us against ourselves. Then the beauty that comes out of what we once saw as nothingness is limitless. Aries, this is what I have for you between the 1st and 15th of October. Um, again, if you need that personal reading, hit me up. I pray this resonates. I thank you in advance for all your likes, shares, your subscribes and comments. New subscribers, I may can't comment to everybody because it should be lit in local life. But welcome to the family. And I love you long time, baby. Mm. Bye, babies. Namaste.